again, how are you? Welcome to episode 19. This time we're taking a look at a totally different US park, situated near to the border of Florida and Georgia. Wild Adventures in Valdosta, Georgia is a theme park, water park and animal park all in one. Plus, it holds a regular concert series each and every year, featuring some of the biggest names in music. Now before we start, don't forget to like any of the videos on this channel that you enjoy and if you can please subscribe, it really does help us going forward and don't forget to click on that notification bell so that you don't miss any future episodes. So let's take you back to 2010 for this video when we split our holiday between Atlanta and Orlando. We were looking for a stopover somewhere around the halfway mark of the journey down to Orlando and discovered a place called Valdosta. Not only is it close to Interstate 75, it's a good place to break up the journey and it gave us a chance to visit the Wild Adventures theme park. We stayed here at the Wingate by Wyndham, which was a comfortable hotel, ideally situated with a free breakfast, plus we had some time to explore Valdosta. The Wild Adventures Park began as a petting zoo on a plot of farmland in 1996 owned by the Busher family who later, in 2004, bought Cypress Gardens in Winter Haven. The park opens from March to December each year with a number of themed events including Christmas and it's now home to eight roller coasters and numerous flat rides with the first rides added to the park in 1998. Splash Island, the park's water park, opened in 2003 as the park's largest expansion and that includes several water slides and tractions as you'll see later.
In 2007, Wild Adventures was sold because of bankruptcy requirements following financial difficulties which began in 2004 when three hurricanes, Hurricane Charlie, Hurricane Francis and Hurricane Jean, ravaged East Polk County in Florida and left a trail of destruction at Cypress Gardens. Hershend Family Entertainment then bought the park for $34.4 million. Over the next decade or so, numerous rides were added and at the start of the 2020 season, Blackfoot Falls was renovated and renamed Island Falls and the Pharaoh's Fury was moved to another zone of the park and the following year the park's wooden coaster Cheetah was retired along with the park's go-karts and mini golf course. Man, Away from the animals, let's see some more of the rides.
Without doubt there is plenty to do at Wild Adventures. It is exceptional value for the ticket price and that is without the annual concert series. Each summer the park welcomes some exciting artists to the outdoor all-star amphitheatre stage for the first time and some favourite artists make a return. This year the lineup included bands like Train and ZZ Top. And would you believe that every single concert is included with your park admission or a season pass? For an upgraded experience you can also buy reserved concert seat tickets before they sell out. Don't forget to check out all the other videos on this channel featuring all of the parks in Orlando, parks that no longer exist like Cypress Gardens and Opryland USA, plus European parks and top tips, hints and ideas. And if you enjoy any of the videos make sure you click on the like button, ring the notification bell to be informed of any future videos and make sure you subscribe too. And I'll see you next time for the next episode of Main Street Martin. Yeah.